How's it going? Welcome to the channel, and I am here for an album review for you guys. Now, this is one of those albums that I feel like I just have to talk about because, well, if you guys don't know, this album recently turned 10 years old this year. Um, I believe it came out, uh, yeah, about 10 years ago, somewhere close to that now. I know it came out in the fall, and I believe it was recently its birthday, so yeah, um, I'm here going to be talking about Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin. Now, if you guys don't know, this is an album that does, uh, that does mean a lot to me because, well, if you guys don't know, this was the first album uh, that I've ever got on CD, and it was the first album. It was pretty much the album that started it all for me, pretty much, you know. This was the album that helped me get into hard rock and then heavy metal, and yeah. So this album does have a, a lot of nostalgic factor for me. And it's a pretty significant album, I'd say. So, yeah, a lot of nostalgic factor coming from uh, this album for me. So, yeah, this is one of those albums that I feel like I gotta talk about every single song because of, you know, the, um, you know, how much it meant to me at the time. Um, so, yeah, this is a very dark album, of course. It's definitely Breaking Benjamin's darkest album. Uh, I think it's darker than anything that came before and came after. Uh, this album, I feel like, deals with a lot of emotions, such as anger, sadness, um, anxiety, and uh, a, just a lot of emotions going on here. And, you know, I remember, you know, as a teenager when I first heard this album, you know, that was something I could really connect with, because I went through a lot of anxiety when I was a teenager, and uh, depression was a big thing that played a factor for me, too. So, you know, not only was the music solid, but I could really connect, you know, with Ben Burnley, you know, on that level, I think. So, yeah, uh, this album, it truly is something special. You know, it, it was an album I was obsessed with back in the day, but yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the tracks. Obviously, I don't, I'm walking at work right now, so I don't have the track listing in front of me or anything of that nature, but... This is one of those albums that I pretty much know in the back of my hand. So, yeah. Um, first we got Fade Away, which I think is actually kind of an underrated uh, Breaking Benjamin track. Um, and definitely the most underrated opening track from Breaking Benjamin. Um, I, I, I always really like the way like it faded in, I think. Uh, that part always like really drew me in, I think. So, yeah. Um, I really like this one. It's a good one. I, I wouldn't say it's a favorite of mine, but I like it. And then we got I Will Not Bow, which is the lead single to the album. And yeah, this is a this is a really great uh, track, I think. Uh, I think it is a little overrated, but I don't think it's bad by any means. It's, uh, it's kind of got that, um, that single nature to it, I think. The, you know, the catchiness and the, just the... I think it just has all the things that make it a single. And yeah, I can definitely see why they chose this uh, song as a single. And yeah, it's a really good song. Once again, not a favorite, but I do like it. Then we got Crawl, which is one of the most emotional tracks on the album. And yeah, I like this one too. Uh, this one is, um, it's very dark, it's heavy, it's melodic. And I think this one's also kind of underrated. And then we got Give Me a Sign, which is probably my favorite of the singles. I really like the emotion that this song delivers, especially within the bridge section with um, Ben Burnley's soft vocal harmonies. I, I think the whole band just does a really good job with this song. So yeah, Give Me a Sign, possibly one of my favorites on, the, uh, on this album. And then we got Hopeless, which is probably my least favorite song on the album. Uh, but that's not saying much because it's still okay. Um, this song is just kind of edgy to me, I think. There's not really anything really special about it. But, again, I think it's a decent track. And then we got What Lies Beneath, which I think is another underrated Breaking Benjamin song. And this is possibly another favorite of mine. I really like the dark mood and the emotion that this song captures. I think it's a very unique track, and it doesn't really get a whole lot of love like I think it deserves. And then we got Anthem of the Angels. Now, this seems to be a fan favorite off this record, and for good reason. It is more experimental. 
Uh, they do kind of experiment with orchestral elements, and I think it goes off uh, really well. So Anthem of the Angels, is it a favorite of mine? I, I don't know if I would go that far, but it's not really a least favorite of mine either. So yeah, Anthem of the Angels, I think it's a good song. Um, and then we got Lights Out, which is probably the angriest, most aggressive song on the album. And again, not a favorite, but not a least favorite either. This used to be my favorite Breaking Benjamin song back in the day, actually. Um, so yeah, I think uh, this song is actually very good. It's got the um, it's got this emotion that it captures very well. I think the uh, it's, it's just a really aggressive track, and yeah, I like it. Um, and then we got the title track, Dear Agony, which may be a favorite of mine on the album. I don't know. Um, I think that this song is brilliant. It's definitely one of maybe even the saddest Breaking Benjamin songs that there has ever been, I think. This song is really good. I really dig what this song has to offer. Uh, the emotion that it delivers and Ben Burnley's vocal performance is just really, really good in this song. So yeah, um, it is very, you know, it's, it's a very emotional track and yeah, I really like this one. And like I said, it's possibly a favorite of mine. And then we got into the nothing. Now, I don't know what it is, but I always felt like this song was very um, underrated. Uh, I feel like people just generally uh, complain about this song being a little formulaic or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's um, a common complaint with some people. I'm not really sure what it is, but I like this song. I think it's pretty underrated. I, I like the chorus and I like the bridge section. Um, I think Ben Burnley puts a lot of emotion into this song and I like it. It's a, it's a really good song overall. And, and then we got Without You, the closing track which is probably Breaking Benjamin's best closing track that they've ever done. Uh, this one has a very theatrical vibe, and it, this, this one also has some orchestral elements, especially towards the end of the song. My main, co my main complaint with this song is the chorus. I felt like the chorus is just a little too repetitive. I felt like they could have shaved like some minutes or some seconds out of that uh, chorus. And I think it would have made it a little bit better. But other than that, it's a really good song. And I think it's easily Breaking Benjamin's best closing track. And yeah, I think um, it's a really good way to end the album. So there you go, guys. Um, that's my take on the album Dear Agony from Breaking Benjamin. Um, I want to know what you guys think of this album. Uh, I think it's actually really good. It has a lot of nostalgic factor for me, but even putting the nostalgia aside... It's a really good album. So as a score, I'll go ahead and give it. Um, I'll go ahead and give it an 8.7 out of 10. It's a really good album. So yeah, I highly recommend it if you like hard rock. If you like bands like Red or Three Days Grace, definitely check out the album. It's a really good hard rock album. So yeah, and of course, if you're a Breaking Benjamin fan, for whatever reason you haven't listened to this album yet, you definitely need to do so. It's an essential for any Breaking Benjamin fan. I think it's a really good album, so let me know your thoughts on the Breaking Benjamin album, Dear Agony. So, yeah, I apologize about the noises in the background, guys. Like I said, I'm currently at work, so yeah, and I decided to walk around uh, and just talk about this album with you guys, so... With that being said, let me know your thoughts. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.